we're talking about how to choose a genre for your novel. Sometimes you just know. My friend Melanie Dickerson writes fairy tale romances. Here's a couple. The Golden Braid, The Silent Songbird. She's been writing fairy tale romances for a really long time. But after about seven or eight books, she really wanted to write a Regency romance, but it didn't fit with her publisher. So Melanie had to find another publisher to write her Regency spy romance series, which was lovely. Um, and then she went back to writing more fairy tale romances. John Grisham has a similar story. He is super well known for his Lawyers in Trouble books. And for years he published them faithfully, but he wanted to write some other books. And so it wasn't until he'd really proven himself that he got away with writing some contemporary stories like The Painted House and uh, Skipping Christmas, which got made into a movie called Christmas with the Cranks. Choosing your genre depends on what your goals are for publication. If you're seeking to be published traditionally by a publishing house that's going to pay you for your book, you might have to go about choosing your genre a little differently than if you're self-publishing. So for those of you hoping to be picked up by a publishing house, you're going to need to know where that book would be put on a shelf in a bookstore like Barnes & Noble. If you're indie publishing, you're going to have to figure out what category to list your book in. You can also choose some keywords which will help you be found as well, but the most important thing is to choose those categories wisely. The categories might vary a little bit between publishing platforms like Amazon or Kobo or Barnes & Noble Nook or iBooks. So you'll have to do some research and really figure out where you want to try to categorize your books if you're self-publishing. What if you can't decide what genre to call your novel? I totally get it. Sometimes you just can't narrow it down to one thing, but you still need to decide where it best fits. I was completely flummoxed by my book, The New Recruit. I did not know what kind of book this was when I was trying to sell it. It's about a kid that joins a spy group but he goes to regular high school, so it's contemporary. So does that make it contemporary teen story? Does that make it a mystery or suspense? It also has some supernatural elements. Does that make it supernatural or inspirational because we're talking angels and demons? Or was it a contemporary fantasy like Harry Potter or Percy Jackson? I didn't have a clue. To this day, I still struggle with how to classify this book into one genre, and that's probably why it's not one of my most popular series. Which brings me to another caution. If your book is so strange it doesn't fit neatly into a subgenre, it might not sell. It's going to be a riskier endeavor for a publisher to get on board with. Too weird doesn't always land well with the majority of the readers, so choose wisely. How do you figure out what genre it is? Like how do you know the difference between urban fantasy and contemporary fantasy and things like that? Google it. I could spend an hour trying to explain it to you on a video, but you could Google it in a much shorter time. Google the difference between contemporary fantasy and urban fantasy. Look for posts that are written by editors or Writer's Digest, something that has a lot of clout behind it. What if you choose wrong? With traditional publishing, if you pitch the wrong genre and you get a request to have them, the agent or editor look at your book, they're probably going to reject you because you're going to have told them I wrote a historical romance and really what you've written was an alternate history and that's not what they were looking for. They wanted that romance element and your book doesn't have it. So if you don't nail your genre, you can't communicate it well when you pitch your story and you're probably going to get rejected. With indie publishing, if you mess up your genres when you're choosing to self-publish, you could um, get your book in the wrong category and so if people buy it, you might end up with some low reviews, some one or two star reviews in which the readers complain, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. The cool thing about indie though is that you can go in and change your genres even after you've published. You can mess around with that and so you can do some experimenting. You can't do that if you've sold your book to a publishing house. The publishing house is going to publish that book within a genre and it's going to stay there. Go to bookstores and look around see what's on the shelves. Then you should read lots of those books to find out which ones are most similar to yours. So study genres well so you can be sure you're calling your book the right thing. Until next time, keep on writing.